Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Thin Back Brewery. This is Everyday Spirits 3. Whoever had logged us in over on Beer Advocate mis misspelled spirits. S-P-I-R-T-S. -S, spurts. Spurts 3. So when I typed it in there, it didn't return it, but it, I went to the brewery set and I looked for it and it had it there and I looked at it whoever and you know nobody's corrected it and four only four people have commented on it but whoever put it in there if you're typing it in over an app site it's not going to return it for that name of this beer because it's typed in wrong to start with but anyway we digress these guys are out of New York uh, it's a collab with Hudson Valley Brewing uh, Peach Lactose Citra Strata Belma Hops Looks very cloudy, I mean, looks very, very tasty in the glass to me, guys. Uh, and like I said, uh, I paid, this was pricey. This one was $7.79 for this can of beer. And it is 8%, guys. I did not, man, I don't see it on here. Yeah, unless it's written so small my eyeballs can't see it so I don't see it on here it does say double IPA with peach on that and, and the label I mean it's very pastel with tiny white writing on it so it's not easy to read can uh, and on the bottom here it says 33022 so March 30th guys so today is uh, first week of July uh, so March April May June and we're just into July so we're still within that window there but it's at the end of its three month shop like guys anyway let's uh, get it open get it in the glass let's not make the beer wait any longer yes all right We're going to go that far with it. Uh, a lot of stuff floating around in this one, guys. whole lot of. So that may be very unappealing to a lot of people because it is just loaded with it. But again, if they've done it with peaches, that may be peach pulp. I mean, I don't have any idea. Uh, it says peach here, guys. So, uh, But it has a ton of... Uh, stuff floating around in this beer and that's you know off-putting to a lot of people in, in, including me when it's this prominent I mean it's just it's not a pleasant beer to look at and I don't know if you can see that it's just cascading all around inside that that glass there so uh, I mean this just keeps it just keeps can you see that I mean it, this it's, it's not an appealing looking beer for sure. Uh, so, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Almost eight dollars. I'd have to hate to have to pour this down the drain, uh, but it does look pretty gross, guys. I mean, that's that's about the chunkiest thing I've seen in quite a while. Peaches, citrusy, tangerine. The lactose almost gives it a vanilla, orange vanilla creamsicle smell. Very, very pleasing. I mean, it's uh, if I was blindfolded, I'd say, yeah, let's drink it. But looking at it, I'm going, hmm, that's scary looking. But uh, what do you think? Shoulda or shoulda? Oh, yeah, we should. 
here we go. And it's amazing. It's it's still tumbling. I mean, I I'm not. I'm gonna bring it over so you can see it. Can you see it? I mean, it's it's just rolling around in the glass. I mean, it, it's not settling. It just keeps rolling over and over and over. Very, very unusual looking beer. Very strange. I don't know if I can get it on. I didn't take very many sips, but it's just amazing to me. It's just, it's just, I mean, it ain't just settling down. It's just, it's just like it's going nutty in there. I don't think it should be doing that, guys. I think it's infected. It shouldn't be just turning over and over and over in a glass like that. I mean, the clouds are coming up from the bottom. So I don't know if they're trying to dissolve in the air. Before we do a drain pour, I'm going to let this one set for a little bit. And it just goes crazy wild when I do that. I mean, it just starts all over again. So, it doesn't smell bad, but it's very strange looking. We're going to let this one set. We'll have a verdict shortly. This is five minutes later. Still doing it. Fifteen minutes later, and it's still swirling. So guys, uh, it doesn't look like I want to put this in my belly. Alright guys, it's been an hour. And it has just now stopped swirling and twirling. Technically, it may be okay to drink. But with all of that going on for that long a time, that's what it's going to do in my stomach if I put it down there. And a homie ain't going to play that. So, I'm not taking that chance. Uh, it is chock full. I mean, the sediment in the bottom of that glass is... It almost looks like it's up to here, guys. Halfway up. And the bigger, heavier chunks are down here in the bottom, so... I ain't playing that. I'm not going to get sick trying to drink a damn $7 and almost $8 beer. Nah. It's a loss. You write this one down, it's going down the drain. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm not taking a chance. I consider it undrinkable. After what you've seen, half, I've never seen that in a beer ever before. So, And I've been drinking beer a long time, guys. So, uh, not taking that chance. I don't want my stomach... <laughs> to be doing this or right, coming back out this way uh -uh. so guys it's undrinkable not doing it nope zero score on this one it is a F undrinkable so you may get by but drink it I'm not like I said but I me am not taking that chance you seen I've never got around to the camera and done that and focused on what was going on for in the beer and y'all seen it. I mean it was just swirling around 
10, 15, 20, 30 minutes it was still swirling around. Really? What in the hell is that? So, anyway, uh, I'm going to give you the scores, guys. Uh, over to Bear Advocate, only four people have commented, so no score from them. I might have a bad can here, guys, so uh, you take that for what it is, too. Uh, it's 4.02 and untapped, so. And it, the picture here does not look like what I've got here. I mean, there is no heavy chunkiness in the bottom of these glasses that I'm seeing that's in this one. So it doesn't look like what I'm looking at here. So something is wrong with either this can in particular or this batch. I'm not seeing anybody say anything about that. But you all seen that y'all witnessed what happened here. So again, maybe you've had a good experience with this particular beer. But y'all seen, uh, what's that? Give me some comments on this one. Would you drink it? Would you, would you put this in your belly if it was churning like that for 30 minutes or longer? In the glass, I've never seen that. I mean, everything I've seen particulates, it settles to the bottom and it's done. Then you can swirl it up and it'll dissolve. I've never seen it churn like that for that long a time. No. So, let me know what you think, guys. To meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.